Hello everyone, welcome back. This is our second lecture in functions. So as I have said in the previous video, functions can be represented in many ways. Okay, words, tables of values, graphs, or formulas. For this video, I am going to talk about uh, tables as functions. Okay, so represented as a table, we are presented with a list of input and output values okay so in some cases these values represent everything we know about the relationship while in other cases the table is simply providing us a few select values from a more complete relationship let us take for example this table below so we have q is equal to g of n so we have a function g the input is n and the output is q. Right? Okay. So, kung titignan natin dito, uh, the input, the, when the input is 1, the output is 8. When the input is 2, the output is 6. When the input is 3, the output is 7. When the input is 4, the output is 6. When the input is 5, the output is 8. Okay, so that's how we read uh, tables as functions. Okay, let us look at this example question regarding tables as functions. Okay, which of the following, which of these tables define a function? Are any of them one to one? So how do we determine if uh, a function presented in table, okay, or a relation presented in table, is a function or not? Okay, let us take a look at the first one, letter A. The input value is 2, the output value is 1, input is 5, output is 3, the input is 8, the output is 6. As you can see, this one is an example of a one-to-one -one relation because the inputs are unique, the outputs are also unique. Okay, so ibig sabihin, this is a one-to-one -one relation, this is a function. This is a function, or we can simply write a function, okay, and this is actually a one-to-one, -one, okay, this is a one-to-one -one function. How about letter B, okay, the input is negative 3, 5, 0, 1, 4, 5. As you can see, the output, itong output, dalawang beses nagpakita yung 5. Okay, so be, uh, so ito, this one is uh, many to one, tama? This is a many to one relation and as discussed in the previous video, many to one relation is, is still a function. Okay, this is, is still a function but it's not one to one, it's a many to one. Okay, for letter C, 155024. So, if uh, tignan natin yung input value natin dito na ulit yung 5. So, isa lang yung input na 5, dalawa yung lumabas na output 2, 4. Okay? So, basically, this is a 1, 2, many relation and this is not a function. Not a function because of uh, the repetition of the input. So, basically, Ang ginagawa lang natin dito to determine if a given relation in a table is a function or not. Tignan lang natin yung input, ano? Itong input. No at dahil na ulit kapag may naulit dito na input value, ibig sabihin it is not a function and that's how you determine if a given table is a function or not a function. Okay? So next, how do we solve or evaluate functions? So when we work with functions, there are two typical things we do. The first one is to evaluate and the second one is to solve. Okay, so what is the difference between these two? Evaluating a function is what we do when we know an input and use the function to determine the corresponding output. Okay, so yun yung evaluation, evaluating, di ba? So, evaluating will always produce one result since each input of a function corresponds to exactly one output. 
So, kung sa evaluating, given tayo ng input, the unknown is the output. Okay? Whereas, when we are solving, the given is the output, and we are asked to determine for the input. Okay, dito sa solving, we can come up with more than one solution since different inputs can produce the same output. Okay, so that's the difference between uh, solving and evaluating. So how do we do this when we are given a table? So using the table shown where Q is equal to G of N, the letter A, evaluate G of 3 and letter B, solve G of N is equal to 6. Okay, so kung titignan natin dito sa letter A, evaluate, ibig sabihin, what is the output value when the input value is 3? Okay, so for letter A, based from the table, the G of 3 is equal to, look at the table, the input is 3, the output is 7. So G of 3 is equal to 7. For letter B, G of N is equal to 6. So, we are solving for the input value N. Okay? So, when we are given G of N is equal to 6, N is equal to, let us take a look at the output values. Ang hinahanap natin ay 6. So, this is 6. There is another 6 in there. That means, we have two solutions for this problem. So, we have 2 and or N is equal to 2. And n is equal to comma 4. Okay? So n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 4. So that's how we solve or evaluate functions if we are given table. Next, on the next video, I am going to talk about graph as a function. So I'll see you in the next video.